Hello, hello. So today we're going to be taking a detailed look at the runway markings that you will find at an airport. So let's get straight into it and start by taking a closer look at a runway. Now this is my representation of a runway, it's breathtaking I know. Regardless, let's take a look at some of the components that you should find on most runways. First of all, a runway will have a centre line, a long dashed white line which runs along the length of the runway. This of course identifies the centre of the runway and also aids pilots with lining up correctly. Next you have the numbers. Now runways are numbered depending on the direction they face on a compass. For example, if you were stood at the end of this runway you would be facing east, 090 degrees. You drop the final number and you get the runway number. Now if the heading is not exact then it's rounded up or down to the nearest tenth. So if the actual runway heading was 093 for example, this would be rounded down to 090 and become runway 09. I also believe that some countries also remove any leading zeros. For example, in the UK this would be runway 09, however in the United States this would simply be runway 9. At larger airports you may have multiple runways which all face the same direction, known as parallel runways. London Heathrow Airport is a perfect example of this. Of course, you can't have two runway 09s because pilots wouldn't know which one to land on, so parallel runways are further identified by including AL or R, which stands for left and right. At some airports you may have three parallel runways. If this is the case, the middle runway of the three would be identified with a C, which stands for centre. Next up you have multiple white bars at the end of the runway. These are called the threshold markers and they identify the end of the runway. The number of bars painted also indicates how wide the runway is. So this is a little bit of information that I found online. I believe this was originally taken from FAA documentation. According to this, the runway in my example would be 100 feet wide. Next up we have our aim point markers. These markings give pilots a visual guide to where they should be touching down and actually making contact with the ground. If you look at real airports, you should be able to see two pieces of ground equipment which fall in line with the aim point. Those are the VASI or PAPI lights and also the glide slope antenna, both of which give the pilot vertical guidance down to the runway. In the UK, the markings are represented with this three box pattern but in other countries you may see the markings as large solid rectangles like this. And finally you'll find touchdown zone markers. These represent a long area at the end of the runway where a pilot can touch down because even the best pilots cannot hit the aim point markings every time. These markings also have different numbers of bars in them to indicate how much of the runway is left. Now there's a couple of other common markings that you'll see at many airports. These are normally extensions to the main runway. The first one is called a displaced threshold and looks like this. A series of white arrows leading to the end of the main runway. Planes are allowed to taxi and begin their takeoff run on a displaced threshold but should avoid landing or touching down on this part of the runway. The other extension is known as a blast pad or an overrun area. This area has yellow chevron markings and planes should avoid contact with this part of the runway unless under emergency circumstances. This is because blast pads are usually not as strong as the main runway which is designed and made of materials which can withstand the punishment of heavy planes running over it. Blast pads are usually built to protect the ground and any ground equipment at the end of a runway to prevent it from being eroded away by a plane's jet blast. So that about covers the most common runway markings that you'll see. In my next video I'm going to be looking at the various lighting systems around the runway so stay tuned for that next weekend. Thanks very much for watching, take care out there and I'll catch you all later.